Hi everyone, welcome to The Grace Life. So in today's project, we are going to be making a stand for our vases. Now, I had previously made this one, it's the glass stand from the Dollar Tree, and then we wound, we wound the nautical rope around that stand, okay? And now with the Jinka Blast, we're gonna go ahead and do that to, uh, to this tray right here. And then the nautical rope, of course, comes from the Dollar Tree. Let me just show you everything else we're using. We are using uh, these two florals. They, they came from the Dollar Tree also. And so did these two vases. They came from the Dollar Tree. So now anything I'm using to make this craft, guys, um, if I mentioned it or things I didn't mention are down in the description box below. If you like the video, video, make sure and click like and share the video if you liked it. So now these two stands I previously made, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you with the wood glue how to make one of these stands. But these two are pre-made and they are going to serve as a stand for this this actual candle holder so we'll go ahead and do that together let's jump right into the project so I can show you what I did so now we're gonna take these Jenga blocks okay and what I did here so first thing I did was these two Jenga blocks are going to have to be glued together okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do that Now when you're using wood glue, it is going to take a little bit of time to dry, so this is just so that you can see what I did. Then what we're going to do is we are going to glue, we are going to glue, this is the two Jenga blocks together right here. Now we're going to glue on all four sides, one Jenga block. So, okay. So now, once this is done, we're going to take a jingle block and we are going to place this on top on all four sides of this stand here on the bottom. Okay, so this is basically what that looks like, okay, and that would be this first top half of the stand, okay, since I can't pick that up because it needs time to dry. Now, if I turn this around, you're going to see that I glued three more pieces of the Jenga blocks and I placed that on top of here. So let me go ahead and glue those three pieces together. Okay, and you're going to have something that looks like this. Now this is going to dry for a few minutes while we move on to the, uh, the stand, the other stand. So I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes and then we can move on before I show you how I glued that. So if we come over here, okay, I want to show you how we start off this, uh, this stand right here with the nautical rope. Okay, now what we want to do is uh, we want to start out with a dab of glue in the center. Okay, and then we want to we want to place our nautical rope in that center glue. Once you get started. It should flow pretty easily. So now I'm gonna go putting nautical rope in a circle in a circle.
So in a circular motion, you want to keep going around in a circle and pressing down. You should have something that looks like this. So again, I'm going to go, I'm going to put glue in a circle. Then we're going to go around. I guess getting started is always the hardest part. So as you keep going in a circular motion, you're also pushing down. So This is what we have so far. We just got to go around this end here and then I have to cut off. Okay, what I would like to show you that I didn't get a chance to do with that one is I'm going to go ahead and go the extra loop around that glass so that you don't see the glass. So I'm going to go one more time around this uh, candle holder so that you can't see the glass where that one you can. So this way you can see both, you know, both styles. pieces here that are lifting up we just want to add some glue like a little bit of glue in between the strands before we lay that down and of course we know we have a lot of glue strings when we're working with the glue so I do want to show you the difference um, besides the fact that you can't see the glass because, let me show you, it's probably easier with this one. When you're looking at this, uh, this candle holder from the Dollar Tree, it comes up a little bit, there's a lip. I didn't mind seeing the glass on this one, which is the reason why I left it this way. Okay, so we cut off there. That's one way of doing it. Now, if you do go up on it, what's going to happen, because you do have a, a lip that comes up, it is going to be slightly above the other nautical rope that we twisted around in a circle, which is fine. I just want to show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is the finished product. So this way you'll get to see both of those. I happen to like them both depending on what I'm placing on it. So if we come over here, okay, this might be, this is what we have right now. So just a few minutes with the glue. It is going to have to sit for a while, but this is how, um, what we have so far. So what I'm going to do is very delicately turn it around, okay? Then I'm going to place, and this is what the three pieces of the Jenga blocks that we did together look like. We want to place uh, some glue. Okay, so what I'm going to do there, and this is how I made this top lip right here, this, this extra support. Actually, what it's doing is elevating, and I'll show you why. So we go in the opposite direction of those two jingle blocks. Okay, and that's what this looks like. So now I'm going to place this aside because that's going to need to dry for a while. And so this is what we have when we're done. Now the only difference is that I went ahead and I picked... Went ahead and pre-painted the project, okay, in the block because I wanted it in block. 
And so now what we're going to do, I'm going to show you something. The reason why I uh, use these three jingle blocks on top of there is because this bottom part of this uh, candle holder has ridges on it. What I wanted to do was elevate it off of the stand so that it could sit flat in the center. Okay, and for that we're going to use, so what we want to do is we want to put some glue in the center of, of that candle holder and then we're going to, we're going to put some hot glue around it. This will keep the project, this will dry instantly and then the, um, the fix all adhesive will take about 24 to 48 hours to dry. I'm going to turn this around, place that down, and then place this in the center just so that I know it's centered properly. Okay, then is in the center so we're going to turn it around the weight of that I guess you can put some extra weight on that but the weight of that will is enough for that to sit 24 hours for that to dry then what I want to show you while I'm holding this is that you see how you can see that slight elevation I'm actually liking that I I think it just takes this up to a whole other level I think that this is very beautiful this way so this is what we have here we have the one where the nautical rope doesn't go up on the top of the rim and here we have the nautical rope where it does come up okay and I, that, I don't mind that at all so what I did was I took the two Dollar Tree vases or any vase anything you want to display on them and I just put the florals right right in the center there and I think that looks absolutely gorgeous so guys, I hope you enjoyed the craft. Everything I use to make this craft is down in the description box below. Make sure and click like and share the video if you liked it. And click the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.